This is a Holden Captiva. I haven't done one of these for a while, so I'm just guessing, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. And we'll go through it anyway. But these silver side panels just clip out. It's just both sides. And um, you can unscrew the radio. So let's have a go at that. So be wary of the dashboard up here because it's soft. So if you're using metal screwdrivers or even this plastic tool, you can dent it. So be very careful of that. So I generally start where the hard plastic is. And I'm probably going to want to use two hands, so I better put the camera down. Yeah, definitely going to use two hands for this one, just to keep myself steady. Where am I? Oh, no. Nah, nah. I've just had a crack at the bottom here. Look at that. If you have to use a metal screwdriver, do so, but very carefully. Now it's still very tight, so I have to get the next clip out. I've got a bigger, bigger tool with the thing on it, a hook on it. It just covers more surface area. I don't often use this one, but it seems to be doing a good job. Sometimes you just have to sit and wait for the clips to come out because you don't want to just get forcing it because the plastic will snap. I'd like to try and do it all one-handed so I can show you exactly how it's going along. And often one car, the trims might come out really easily. And another car, they might not come out at all. And what that means is the clips will actually just have to be broken. So you'll just have to be very careful not to actually break the panel itself. But you just have to keep trying harder and harder until the clips actually break or they break out of the plastic. Which is not good. But you do what you have to do. Because this is how the radio comes out. You haven't got a choice. Right. So what I'm going to do now, I'll turn, I'll have to um, use two hands. So I'll turn the camera off for a sec, but what I'll do is I'll get, um, because this con covers more surface area, I'll probably use something like this. Get it in there to get that side out. But before I do that, obviously I can get it out a little bit with this. And then use the tool to get in the side. I'm sure it'll clip out easily. Uh, I'm struggling with this one. It's still not coming out. So this is one of the problem ones. So I'm going to carry on. I can't undo the, It's not clipping out from the side here or from the side over here. But I think this is the side I have to get out more so. But I can see in there. I can see... Uh, sorry, where's the camera? I can see that I can get something in there and help lever it out. So I might get a metal screwdriver now. With the metal screwdriver, I'll put this plastic against the dash. I don't ruin the dash. And then I'll use the metal screwdriver to lever it out. Now the reason the metal screwdriver might be helpful is to... so that it doesn't flex. The metal doesn't flex, obviously, where these plastic tools do have a lot of flex in them. So I just might need that extra bit of um, hardness to get them out. Okay, that was actually really difficult. Uh, I actually got the other one out really easily, just to help to see if it came out easily so I could find out how they come out. Um, so what I found is it's got these two hooks here, which ideally have to push in that way, it would come out, but it actually it was no good because you'd have to push on the dash too much. Um, so I did look on the other side, and it's the same sort of scenario. It's just got two hooks, you can't really see them, can you see them there in the, in the middle of the screen? It's two hooks. So what I did, so I'll put that down. I've got the biggest screwdriver I had and did that to try and push them, 
push them in. And once I felt that it gave it a little bit, pulled the screwdriver out, sorry about the camera, and then it actually, it did actually come out. It was actually came out not too bad in the end. But it was a lot of struggle. But if you are a bit um, cautious and don't want to go to that extreme, that's okay. Because there was enough flex to pull that trim aside to get those two screws out, to get the radio out. And the other side having come out easily, obviously you'd get to those screws easily. Um, but it's just perseverance um, and being very careful. There is a little bit of damage on the dash. You can't really see it. I know it's there, but um, that's what happens sometimes. It's the best you can do. Um, also, with taking those trims out, all these little clips with a bit of felt on them stay in the dash, so you'll need to get those out too. So, like there, down the bottom there. That felt, that's actually the clip as well. Uh, so there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Um, the other side, one fell in the dash. I might be able to get that out later. If I can reach under the dash. Might be able to reach under here somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Don't know. We'll have a look at that later. But anyway, that's the radio removal for this Holden Captiva. Um, and if this radio is not going back in, eject all the CDs. Okay, bye.